Today we're going to be looking at choker necklaces. I always tend to find choker necklaces in store that I either don't like or they're really expensive. So I always tend to make my own. This is one that we're going to be making today. It's just a black floral cord which I picked up from a craft store. I think it was like one pound for half a meter so it's very inexpensive. I always tend to keep an eye out for cord and different materials that I can make my own jewelry pieces from anyway. So if you like this then please stay tuned. We are going to be covering all the choker necklaces on the cover photo so hopefully this is something you'll like. Start by using a measuring tip to measure around your neck. Mine is 13 inches but I'm just going to go a little further on to 13 and a half inches so it gives that leeway so it's not tight around your neck. I have collected a range of different cords and materials to make these cord necklaces. Firstly starting with this one, it's got like plastic leaves on it but it's got like a shimmery kind of material where it's two-toned. Then like a flower, it's just black but it's got nice detailing on a pink flower, a kind of like wedding material. It has like pearl beading and grey silk ribbon. I'm going to start by using this black cord. Lay your cord flat and measure along with your measuring tape however long you need it to be. As I said mine is 13 inches but I'm just going to go a little further on up to 13 and a half and then just pull that out and then cut in between the two flowers. To fasten this choker we're going to be using press studs. These silver ones are perfect and easily sewn on. You have two press studs, ones that clip in and one that is the holder. I'm going to be using a black thread, just double it up and then wrap it around your finger and then put the end through the loop, pull it tight and then that should create a sturdy knot. Loop the thread through the needle as usual, pick up your first stud, doesn't matter which one it is, place it onto the end flower of your cord and just sew that on. It's quite important to make sure the stud is sewn on very tightly because you're going to be pulling the studs apart and it might rip the stud from the cord if it isn't sewn on properly. To create a knot just loop that through and pull it tight. You can do this a few times. You'll probably have some loose threads so just cut that off with some scissors. You will then need to apply the other stud but make sure you apply the other stud on the opposite side so the studs go together. With them both sewn on that is your fastener complete and you can just stud them together and that will hold your cord in place. And that is your black flower choker complete. For this next choker we're going to be using this black cord, it's got like a shiny effect and you can use buttons. This is a very vintage button, this is a patterned button with a really interesting design. Or you can use beads like this shell bead or you can use charms like this flower charm. Any type of embellishment that has a hoop so it can slide onto the cord is perfectly fine. Like this vintage button, I chose this one because I thought it was really interesting. It just slides on the back of the button and then you just need to create a clasp. So if you create a hoop, just like this hoop here, and not that hoop, so just slide that through and pull it tight. That will leave you with a knot and a loop. With the other end of your cord, just loop that and knot that. You might have to do this a few different times just to make sure the knot holds in the loop and you can see that that is quite sturdy. And that is that cord necklace finished, very easy and on trend. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys, that is the two ways that I make my choker necklaces so hopefully you can make your own. If you do please tweet me at Katie Harmston, I would love to see what your designs are and yeah I hope you enjoy this video and I hope you have a lovely day. Mm -hmm.